Hi everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas day four. I am so proud of myself to get into day four without a break. Like, I am chuffed. <laughs> but this is probably not how I'm gonna go on. So anyway, we'll see. Um, but yeah, today is Vlogmas day four. So it is the 4th of December, um, it's Friday. Um, and I've just got myself ready, done my hair, done my makeup. Um, I bought the dog this morning. Um, and now I thought I would start the vlog and um, show you my Zara parcel because I know I said I was going to do that in yesterday's vlog. Um, so I thought I'd show you that and um, I've just got bits and bobs around the house today. Um, I've got a little bit of work to do but not too much to be honest. Um, so yeah, I've just got bits and bobs to do around the house. I need to do some cleaning, I need to do some washing. So yeah, just like a cosy sort of homey weekend really. I might go to like a garden center or something um i think i might start on some of my christmas wrapping as well because i'm actually seeing a friend next week um and i'd like to give her her presents so yeah i think i'm gonna start on that um but yeah nothing too exciting just normal day really um anyway i am gonna i just need to go put some flowers and some water so i'm gonna do that quickly start tidying up show you my zara stuff and then yeah just get on with the day one thing that i've been meaning to do for so long is put some new batteries in um this garland so have some batteries here so i'm gonna do that quickly now ah oh, the man's just come to collect the skip from outside so we had a skip outside just while we were getting the garden done and um, the garden's still not fully finished they're coming back on saturday to finish it off um i don't know why i'm opening opening these batteries in the most worst way um but yeah they're coming back on saturday to finish it off so that's exciting although it's a shame it's not really like nice weather to enjoy the garden but oh well at least it's done for the summer. Right, let's do this then. There we go, all done. <laughs> I honestly can't get over how stunning these flowers are. Oh, I just love them so, so much. Right, let's pop them in here a sec and open that up. Oh my god, they're so nice. There we go. How cute does that look? Right, I'm gonna sit down now and show you my Zara order. Okay, so obviously you guys know it was Black Friday recently and Zara did a Black Friday um, discount. And to be honest, their discounts like that, other than their like Christmas and summer sale, are never normally that good. So I wasn't really expecting big things, but I actually went on the website and loads of stuff was quite heavily discounted. Um, so I thought I would pick up a couple pieces. So first up, I don't know obviously if this stuff's gonna be in stock, um, and if it is in stock, it won't be for the price that it was at Black Friday, annoyingly, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway, because you love Zara Hall. Oh, hang on, someone's at my front door, two secs. So the first thing that I picked up is this coat. Now you guys will have seen that I um, have a coat from Zara that's like a kind of like a houndstooth check. I'll pop a picture on screen here. Um, and basically I love the shape of that coat and this is the same shape, just obviously in a different kind of style. Um, I don't know if this is gonna suit me or if I'm gonna get that much wear out of it, but I wanted to try it and see. So I got it in a small and the Black Friday price was 57 59 but I think before that it was like about 100 pounds. So um, yeah, it's literally like this big gray coat. Actually, it doesn't look as oversized as my other one. Um, but it's kind of like a herringbone kind of pattern um, and it goes all the way down and it has like a slit at the back and everything and yeah I don't know I just picked it up because I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe I thought it was really smart and I thought it would look really nice with like an all black outfit um, but I also thought it would look nice with like smart trousers and stuff so yeah I decided to pick it up for that reason um, so I will show you guys this on a bit later in the vlog um, but yeah, I picked that one up. We'll see, if not, I can always return it anyway, but I thought it was cute. And then I picked up this jumper because I'm obsessed with jumper dresses, as you guys well know. And the reason I bought it is because I was hoping I could wear it as a jumper dress, but I just had a look at it and I think it's way too short. So that's a bit of a shame, but um, anyway, it's like this big um, jumper in like a cream color. And I don't know if you can see, I'll show you in a sec, but it has like a tie detail around the waist. And that's why I thought it would look so cute as a jumper dress because I could like cinch it in at the waist, but I just think it's gonna be too short. Yeah, I think that's too short. 
I mean, I could still wear it with like um, leather leggings and um, jeans and stuff, but that's not really why I bought it. So this one will probably go back. It's I, it was seventeen ninety nine, um, but I don't know. I thought it was quite cute, um, but yeah, not quite how I was wanting to wear it. So we'll see. And then. Next, I picked up a little top just for like dinners and stuff like that. Obviously, we can go out for dinner at the moment. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be quite a nice one to wear with like a little skirt or uh, some jeans or something. You're not gonna be able to see it very well because it is black, but it's like a police material. There we go, you can kind of see that. It's got shoulder pads and then it's just long sleeves and it has really nice cuff detailing on the sleeves. Is that gonna, hang on. Okay, yeah, there we go. You can kind of see that. Um, and that's basically what it is. It just goes down like that. But I thought tucked in, it would look really cute with like a nice necklace or something. Um, and I ended up getting that for $17.99. And I think it was around 30 before. So yeah, quite chuffed with that one. And then I actually picked up um, this white jumpsuit, which you guys will have seen in my... Um, uh, Zara haul that I filmed like a while back um, but this went into discount annoyingly but I actually picked it up for a friend of mine um, for Christmas um, so yeah it's just a long white jumpsuit like I said you guys will have seen it in in that video anyway which I can link down below but yeah sorry that was a little bit of an anti-climax <laughs> um, but yeah and then I did just get a parcel through so I might just open that with you guys sorry I know this seems like a little bit like kind of parcel and like I don't know consumerism heavy but like i said i have ordered quite a few bits in black friday and they're all like arriving now um and also it is christmas and so i am buying like gifts and um stuff to wear at this kind of time of year so yeah there probably will be a few bits kind of featuring in these videos but i think you guys like that it seems like you do anyway so yeah <laughs> anyway right let me um go grab that parcel and see what it is okay so it's actually oh wow <laughs> It's actually um, something else that, this is cool, that I got in Black Friday. <laughs> um, and it's from uh, 24S, which are like a um, luxury kind of brand. Um, not a luxury brand, but they're like a, they just sell loads of luxury goods, basically. Uh, I think they're based in France, in Paris. So, yeah. Um, but I picked myself up a jumper, a top, and I also picked Sam up some shoes. For Christmas oh my god this is so beautiful look at that package there I don't know if you can see is it gonna focus it says Madame Holly how cute oh my god I just want to live in Paris and it says from Paris with love oh, I love that that's such gorgeous packaging so if you're looking to buy someone a gift and you're sending it straight to them at least you'll know how nice the packaging is so I picked up this um, Anine Bing sweatshirt um, with I think that's Bridget Bardot on the front, my mum told me. Um, she's seen this before in a store. Um, but yeah, I just got this in a size medium, I think I got, or did I get a large? So I got this in a size medium and they're just so, so cozy. I live in sweatshirts. I just find them the comfiest things ever. So yeah, I absolutely love them. Um, it's a very kind of like vintagey feel sweat. Um, so yeah, I picked that one up. Um, and then I picked this t-shirt up. So this is like Anine Bing's like kind of classic style. And it has like the American kind of flags on it with Bing and then the eagle. And yeah, it's just kind of like, kind of like a vintagey kind of band tee vibe, um, quite oversized. I think I actually got this in a size large because I did want it to be oversized. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I got it in a large. Um, but I just think these look so nice paired with jeans, um, just tucked in. And yeah, I really, really like them. So when I found out they were having a 20% off sale, I was like, I am all over that. And they're so soft as well. So yeah, love that. So they are the two pieces that I bought for me. And then for Sam, I'm praying he's gonna like these. So he told me he wanted a pair of New Balance, okay? And he was describing these shoes to me. And um, then we went on the New Balance website and they weren't there. And so he was like, oh, okay, like they must have sold out. And then I came across what like I came across these on the website and I was like I think they're like the ones he was describing but I can't be sure but at the end of the day I'll just return them if they're not right because he is quite fussy when it comes to shoes um so they're these they're the New Balance 327s um I have them in a similar style do you know what I'm looking at these and I actually don't think he's gonna like them mm. 
I might return them. I don't think he's gonna like them. I think they're, do these say like tennis club and I think they are, like they do look a little bit like tennis shoes. I don't know, I don't think I can see him in them. Not sure, I need to have a think about that. Oh, he's so bloody hard to buy for, honestly. I don't want to show him them because I don't want to like ruin the surprise. I don't think I'm in focus there, am I? There we go. Um, oh, I don't know. They were the only size. Like his size was the only one they had left. So I figured if they were sold out, they must be quite popular. Um, but I don't know. I just thought I would try on the coat now. I quite like it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't decide. I know you can't really see it at full length, but yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a little bit smart. Not sure. I also thought while I'm here, I could um, pop the decorations on the tree that I bought yesterday. I think I might um, post one of these down to my mum so that we both have like the same Christmas decks and she loves stars, so I think she'll love that. I just lit this candle, the um, Maison Margiela Replica uh, Jazz Club. It is my favorite scent ever. Sam actually has it as an aftershave, which I got for him uh, for his birthday, I think, which he absolutely loves. It's gorgeous. It's such a nice scent on a man um, or a woman, but whatever. <laughs> um, but they also do it in candle form. And honestly, it's such a strong smell. Like it's gorgeous. You know, sometimes you like candles and you can't even smell them. Um, this one's like nearly burnt out, as you can tell, but I love it so much. So I also wanted to show you this that my mum sent over to me. So um, basically this is me as a child. <laughs> but basically my mum had loads of old videos of us of when we were children. Hang on, I'm going to spin you around and chat to you. So yeah, she had loads of um, videos of us of when we were like really young, um, like my sister and everyone like that, um, of when we were really young and uh, basically they were all on videos, you know, there's like chunky VHS videos. Um, and obviously we couldn't watch them because we haven't had a video player in so, so long. Um, so she sent them off to someone. I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was local. I'll, um, if I can find out, I'll pop it in the description box. I'm sure lots of people do them though. Um, but she sent the videos off and then they basically have popped them onto a USB. So that means we can um, watch it. Um, so she sent me this in the post, which I'm so excited about because I've never ever seen myself um, like at that age. I've, the earliest age I've probably seen myself is like 12 or something. Um, I've never seen myself as a baby or a toddler or anything like that because I've never watched those videos and she's already sent me some clips from some of them and they look so cute. So I'm really, really excited to um, pop this into the laptop and have a little watch and she's also sent me like a really cute card as well. Um, so yeah, that's like a nice kind of like heartwarming thing to receive obviously at the moment when we can't see like our families that much and yeah, just feel a bit like homesick or whatever. Um, I'm really, really excited to give these a watch. So that's probably what I'll do tonight, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a cute idea. It's also a really nice present. Like I would have loved that. Mom should have said that and given that to me for Christmas, to be honest. Because I just think that's such a thoughtful gift to do. If you've got like home videos lying around um, that you can't watch anymore, then yeah, it's just a nice gift, isn't it really? Um, actually, talking about nice gifts also, sorry, I'm rambling on today in a chatty mood, obviously. But I wanted to share something that I came across um, yesterday. Basically, I always find my grandparents really, really hard to buy for, um, just because they're always like, we don't need anything, like we don't really want anything. Like I always end up getting like my grandpa like some chocolate and like my grandma like some gardening gloves or something. <laughs> Um, but basically I came across this thing um, on uh, not on the high street and basically it's a journal that you buy for them and it has all these questions in it like about their childhood about them growing up and everything and they answer it so they write it all down and then they give it back to you and I just thought that was the most special present ever because obviously like you have conversations like that about um, with your grandparents about their past and everything but 
often it gets forgotten or like you know you don't have time to have a really long conversation about it all um and yeah i just thought it was so so nice for them to write everything down um and then obviously i can just keep it forever so obviously when they're no longer with us um i thought it would just be such a nice thing to look back at so i just ordered one for both of my grandparents um and yeah i'm so so excited to give them to them i really hope they like them <laughs> and they actually will do it <laughs> sometimes my grandma can be quite stubborn so we'll see um but yeah i just thought it was such a lovely gift idea and i wanted to share it with you guys um in case you wanted to do something similar um because i know that'll be something that i'll just treasure for years and years and years so and i can pass it down to like my kids and stuff they also do ones for mums for dads for brothers for friends they do one for everyone and the sort of questions are like um tell me about your parents or um tell me about the jobs you had when you were younger or what's your earliest memory or what's your happiest memory things like that and i just think it's so special to read so yeah i ordered them so that'll be nice i'll link them down below as well if you're interested I think they were around £15, um, but yeah, they're also really nice for like a parent. Do you know what I also thought would be a really nice gift for, say you are expecting a baby and you're pregnant and you want to tell your mum or dad to get them one of them for a grandpa or a gran grandma or granddad or whatever and like give it to them and ask them to fill it out and sort of be like, you know, I'm pregnant. <laughs> this is what one of my followers messaged me saying um, that that would be a really nice idea and I agree, it'd be so nice. Also a lovely gift for someone who's just become a grandma maybe, um, even if you're not like in the family. I don't know, I'm going on now, but I just thought it was so nice. But yeah, um, also I want to say while I'm here, my um, jogger set is from Nguyen. It's the best, I wear it all the time. Um, I don't think it's gonna be in stock because I did get it quite a long time ago now, but you guys know I love a jogger set co-ord situation. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna carry on tidying up now. I just need to do some bits and bobs around the house and um, then I'm probably gonna make some lunch and then I might head out to the post office, I think. This is your daily dose of Rafi. Say hello to the vlog. Say happy vlogmas. Sit. Good boy, good boy, oh, good boy. Yeah, you're a bit of a star of the show Vlogmas, aren't you at the moment? <laughs> he's just woken up from a nap, so, oh, I was about to say he's a bit sleepy, but maybe not. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna cook some lunch. Um, we have HelloFresh and um, it needs to be eaten uh, sort of today slash tomorrow. So um, I have a Thai style pork rice bowl or penne ragu al forno. Probably said that wrong. Um, this one takes 40 minutes, this one takes 35. So I can't decide which one to do. I feel like this one might be a little bit lighter for lunch and then maybe I'll have that for lunch tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. Also, can I just say, get yourself a water bottle with a straw, like this, sorry, it's got lipstick around it, but you'll drink so much more water, like, I rarely drink water, I'm really, really bad for it. But when I have this, I just carry it around the house with me and just take a little sip. So yeah, fully recommend. I just got it from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. There we go, cooking up a storm here. Nearly ready actually. And lunch is served. Doesn't actually look that appetizing, but there we go. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day now, um, but I forgot to round off yesterday's Vlogmas, so I just want to finish it off here, um, and I'm going to start the new one today. <laughs> so confusing. Um, but yeah, you might spot that I'm in the Zara coat that I showed you guys yesterday, or today. Oh my god, I'm honestly so confused, but yeah. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!